My name is Marilyn Stett. I'm a volunteer with the 2008 Oklahoma City AIDS Walk. And this uh, is the table for the AIDS quilt panel. And all of the participants in the AIDS Walk today have come here to sign the AIDS panel. We have all types of uh, signatures. And, and people often will add a sentiment about someone that they know and have lost or someone that they miss and are still grieving for. We have happy statements, we have sad statements, we have hopeful statements, we have uh, all kinds of statements of, as well as signatures of everyone who has been here. I appreciate especially the children's signatures and what they have written on here because it shows that the children are learning about AIDS and how to prevent it and we really appreciate that. We also have the 2007 AIDS quilt panel and the 2006 AIDS quilt panel and next year we'll display this one and next year we'll have the 2009 AIDS quilt panel. Thank you. Talk to me about people that uh, we miss, uh, that uh, we've lost, that we have lost towards. Uh, there's so many of them, you know. There's so many of them, but as long as we're here, they're still here. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Can you can you point out some friends? I can remember Mike, Bobby Wangsgard, Bobby, Sasha Lorraine. Uh huh. Man, there's so many of them. Chris Burr, uh -huh. Ron Hefner. We so miss. Many. We miss them all. Miss them dearly, miss them uh -huh. a lot. Uh -huh. But they're still here with us in our hearts. Yeah, absolutely, as long as we're here, they're here. Yeah, there you go. Never die. I'm Denise Hines, and um, AIDS has affected me through my life with my cousin who passed away. We played the Berlin Symphony, and he lost a partner and lost his own life. And there have been many people that I've worked with in our church and youth ministry who have lost their life to HIV AIDS. I hopefully will see a cure in my lifetime. I know that there is uh, skeptics that say money should not go to AIDS because we should know what causes it, but it's just like cancer. The more we research, the more money we have to find a cure, the better we're going to be and the closer we're going to be to be able to find that cure and to save the generations to come, my grandchildren and my children. Well, tell, uh, tell me, tell me, do you believe a, do you, do you believe a cure is uh, is acquirable in your lifetime? I hope. I wish. I wish it was. Uh huh. You know, um, so I'm going to say optimistically yes. Yes, optimistically yes. What do you think it's going to take? Government? Better government? Uh, better government. Uh, not more money, but more wisely spent. Wisely spent money. So the money's there, it's just that uh, we're not wisely spending it. Possibly, I don't know. I just, you know, it's just, it's got to be going somewhere. Right. Uh, Talk to us about Planned Parenthood and what they're doing to fight AIDS. We do the fight AIDS. Uh, really, what we, the number one thing that we do uh, as far as combating the infection rates here is just education and also uh, doing testing. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, how many people would you say you test a week? Oh my goodness, I would not know. Last week, last week, last week. I don't know. The last week, last week, the point for three. So, sorry, numbers are pretty high. Uh huh. But no matter how many you do test, it's never enough, right? No, and that's why it may seem like a lot of people say, oh, there's all these duplicate services out there. Uh -huh. There are never enough duplicate services when it comes to health care. Uh -huh. Because if someone doesn't come to us, I'm glad they go to Ray, I'm glad they go to someone else. Uh -huh. So where where would one get tested with Planned Parenthood? We have actually five locations. We have a clinic in Edmond, we have a clinic in Midwood City, two in Oklahoma City, one in South, and one in Central Oklahoma City off of 23rd Street near the Capitol, and then one also in Norman off of Lindsay. Seven days a week uh, or uh, five days a week? All the clinics are open Monday through Friday. Uh, and then we have one clinic, our main clinic, on 23rd Street, the Central Oklahoma Clinic, which is open on Saturday, limited hours, I think we leave the new Okay. All right. That's my stitch with Planned Parenthood. Hi, I'm Kurt.
Curtis Chastain. And we're here to support a good cause, HIV, AIDS awareness. It's uh, over the years kind of grown into a lot more mainstream um, issue here in Oklahoma City especially. So we're here to, and happy to uh, support and bring more awareness every year to uh, such a great cause. Because really all it is is education, education for gay people, straight people, transgender people to know the causes, the effects, how you get it, how to treat it. And I think this charity does that as well. I think do the government can do more of that too. Do you guys believe in a cure within our lifetime? We hope so. I hope so. Within 10 years? I think more than a cure, a treatment. A treatment. Okay. A reliable right. treatment. All right, who are you guys with? We're with family. We're family? We oh, look at that. Oh, look say hi, family. <laughs> say hi, family. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, my name is Randy Shea, and I'm with Red Rock North Behavioral Services, located at 44th and Lincoln. Uh, we offer HIV testing, counseling, and prevention. We have uh, two different other uh, off offers there named Hopla and Community Promise, which help the community. Community Promise is an outreach program, and then Hopwa is helping people with housing for people with AIDS. Um, Randy, do you believe a cure is within 10 years? Um, yes, I actually do. You do? Uh, I believe I just currently went to, uh, a couple weeks ago, went down to Florida for the U.S. Conference on AIDS. And the CDC had a lot to say about prevention. Uh -huh. What what must we focus on to, uh, to keep that uh, cure within 10 years? I think the most thing that everyone needs to focus on is knowing your status. Know your status. Get, tetis, get tested and know, know your status and let it know. Thank you, Randy. Thank you.